Did you know that the simple act of washing your hands before touching a young baby could prevent them from catching a serious infection? And that avoiding kisses on that first newborn baby visit could in fact save a life? I lost my baby girl at three months old to an infection that most likely could have been avoided had there been more awareness around preventing the spread of infection to young babies. So, together with the Lullaby Trust, I'm here with an important message of thanks. Think hands and no kisses, unless of course you're the main carer or parent. So here's my story and what you can do as a parent, friend or family member to keep young babies safe. Natasha was born healthy. I walked into her room, she was around three months old and her hands were twitching and her eyes occasionally rolling back. I called my doctor. After a bit of persuasion, I managed to get him to agree that he would see her. So when I got there, he examined her and then he gave me a lecture about how first time mothers worry about their children and I shouldn't be so anxious because actually they're more robust than you think they are. So I felt embarrassed at having disturbed him. Anyway, I went back home, I checked on her during the night, but in the morning she looked a lot worse and I took her to another doctor. I was there at nine o'clock on the doorstep and he examined her. And then he said to me, I think that your child's brain, there's something wrong with it. And I think you need to go straight to St. Mary's Hospital. So I went to the hospital and they did tests on her all day. And at five o'clock, they did a CAT scan and they called me into a room with a light box and they showed me the scan of her brain. And they said to me that she would never be normal again and she might die. She was there for three days and three nights. And on the fourth day, they told me that the thinking part of her brain had gone. So they took her off the ventilator and they put her in a little dress and they put her in my arms. And after four hours, she died and my whole world fell apart. If I had known that something as simple as someone kissing my daughter with a cold sore could have caused a deadly infection that eventually caused encephalitis through the herpes simplex virus, I would never have let anyone kiss my baby when she was so young. But I didn't know. And I think it's really important to understand that babies can become very sick very quickly. We have this message of thanks. Think hands and no kisses. So if someone comes to visit your baby, don't be embarrassed to tell them to wash their hands before they touch the baby. Or ask them not to kiss your baby. Just in those first few very vulnerable weeks. That way we can all keep our young babies safe. That everybody thinks it's never going to happen to them, but it happened to me.